Greetings fellow Ambazonians. Now our Deputy Defense Chief this Adwangi Funa this small defense update where they come from ground zero so that we're gonna be aware for things the way that happen. We're gonna release more media material for the public very soon as they're gonna be cleared for the war council. Since Sunday, we don't get six major attacks from La Republic du Cameroon. It looked like they plan for hit all of our liberated zone them simultaneously so that it could draw with teen. It don't be close to a month. We did not avoid contact with our forces for inside our liberated zone. We used to go out of our way for attack them, for put them on the check. But this time, they don't attack we six times since Sunday. It be for Sunday around afternoon for Mbeme. Our major commander away, now be the mission commander for Mbeme, a unit be be attacked by La Republic du Cameroon forces using uh, a, a, a private car, a Toyota Corolla, the number na SW, 457AN. That vehicle, he approached that unit, he opened fire, they neutralized all person with the inside that vehicle. Then the military then come up with a back up with three armored vehicle, then pick up some cops them from the vehicle, then go by that vehicle it be in our keeping. We don't capture in total two civilian vehicles where they use them for attack our position there for instance Beme. And those vehicles then be neutralized. We will release the video them once we don't get uh, clearance. Our forces them also they don't be attacked again for, for inside the Melum for the great state of Bui. We don't repair that attack. Well, we lost one soldier for an outpost when they at the initial for the initial contact we'll get out of the Cameroon military. We also don't repair that attack for inside uh, Yelum. The Cameroon military forces will be get intelligence, they go attack our headquarters. They come in with 20 vehicles, including armored vehicles and uh, transform uh, Helox vehicles. Our unit in uh, Chombo, Chomba, uh, the, the unit in Bali Road, they intervene. They intercepted that, that convoy. We destroyed two of their military trucks. They successfully pulled those military trucks away. But the video and picture footages that are emerge from that attack will now also then be aware. So for that attack for inside Chombo, all the vehicles and they occupant them for the front vehicles, they will be neutralized, probably about two for the first vehicles and four from the second vehicles getting from the report from the field commander. Our defenses are, are strong. The Republic the DC try to penetrate our liberated areas. We we'll call on all civilians for inside liberated areas for be vigilant. For take them necessary protocol, the old and give them the drill, they would and give them during time where they expect attack so that me all money be safe, make our people then be rest assured, say their defenses then be strong. We will continue for the expand our liberated zone into more areas into Manu, into Ndian, and then and Beme also the surrounding area the from Beme would already uh, establish a foothold for the we will the train picking them for that local area so that they go to defend that block. For give space for our national army for be able for navigate more. As concern the incident, the way it happened for inside Bui, would they offer asylum for Isobu? Isobu get blood for his hand, ADF blood for his hand, he get civilian blood for his hand. But now the position for the Ambazonia Governing Council say make the no kill any soldier during a time of war, even a soldier will be wanted. If we suspend all our problem with Isobu, grantee asylum for protecting and for make sure say the, the infighting way it go on for inside uh, we make it stop it be unfortunate say those who did claim say that they get those forces that they did represent the restoration forces they are missing in action they are nowhere to be found liberation war to represent the interests of our people or to be a stakeholder or to get groups that keeps you on the negotiation table should not just be a pr issue we need everybody that claims to represent forces to be on the field when they are needed the most don't just sit in your comfort and wait to claim responsibility and the honor of these boys but when they need you the most we cannot see them it's not tolerable anymore to have people who have no command and control on the ground claiming responsibility for forces that are fighting so hard for their country so i'm appealing to all sons and daughters of bui to call those boys and try to help us to, to resolve this issue in, in a peaceful manner. Once again, I repeat, we offer asylum to uh, Isobu and uh, he can uh, approach us and through any ADF barracks and we will help him so that this, this issue is resolved. Our forces are in possession of one of their bikes. One of his uh, colon of his, of his troops approach one of our camps and they open fire. 
and uh, the rest is history. But one of their bikes is in our keeping and he should contact us. Uh, we don't want to see anybody die. We want everybody to be alive and defend their block. We had preferred that he stayed in Kikelaiki and defend his, his, uh, his camp there without going out of that area. That was an arrangement we hope to have made with him. But the way it is, we are asking him to seek for asylum. We will protect him and uh, we'll give him a, a safe heaven. We are also calling on the commander in SOP, Commander Cross. He's a brave soldier. Commander Cross, I'm appealing to you to release the, the Catholic teachers that you have arrested and you have been keeping them now for more than four days. You should understand that keeping people is a serious issue. These are not teachers who were teaching in a government, Cameroon government schools, they were teaching in a, in a community schools that you authorized. Yes, of course, they open a, a secondary school without your knowledge, but we are appealing publicly because negotiations on the private level have stalled. So we are asking for you to release those teachers. No Amazonian force should attack or arrest a teacher in a private or community schools. Only Cameroon government schools are banned. If this was a case of a Cameroon government school teachers, we would even begin to understand. But this is not acceptable. And we appeal, please, Commander Cross, release those teachers and let them go. We can resolve this issue later. These are not, not people who, are, who can live, who can run away from the village. We can resolve this issue later. So to all Ambazonians abroad and at home, and those in the IDPs and refugee camps, keep on praying for the soldiers back home and do everything you can to support the armed resistance so that we can free our people and live in a home a homeland that is free from Cameroon terrorism they continue to kill our children target our youth they take no prisoners they respect no war laws and uh, we have to do what we have to do to defend ourselves defend our communities against these baby killers we have to fight it is freedom or resistance forever